सो हाई डियर कैप्रिकॉर्न अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू यू गाइज दिस इज अंजलि टैरो एंड दिस इज जर्नल रीडिंग फॉर ऑल द कैपी सन मून मीनस राइजिंग कीप इन माइंड दिस इज जर्नल इट माई टोर माई टोर प्रेजेंट विद यूर द फर्स्ट प्लेस द सेकेंड थिंग दिस इज रीडिंग फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ऑफ मार्च टिल द एंड ऑफ मार्च एंड दिस इज अ जर्नल इट माइट ओके डोंट ट्राई टू फिट फिट यूर सेल्फ फोर्सिबल इन टू द रीडिंग इफ इट इज नॉट रेजोनेटिंग विद यू ऑब्वियसली इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू बी एवरीबडी स्टोरी it's not a love reading but whatever messages will come by i'll just let you know, uh, guys know right so let's start <clears throat> let's see overall and uh, overall energy for capricorn people for march month ace of pentacles having a brand new chapter opening up in your life especially in your career some kind of dream career dream job or lots of money lots of abundance is going to be your focus brand new ch opening chapters hmm i think uh, everyone is going through separations breakups endings and uh, uh, because uh, till march i feel like we carry the energy of the previous year and i think the new year starts from march it it's my personal opinion i have noticed it so many times let me know if you also feel the same let's see in the recent past i will pull uh, every card uh, one by one and we will clarify the hierophant in the recent past you gain a lot of spiritual clarity spiritual truth or you got some kind of mentor or guru or simply you got a soulmate okay let me we will clarify what happened but uh, there was a spiritual connection there was a spiritual quest or there was a spiritual kind of energy that you you were carrying in the recent past and that's really beautiful current energy is you have lots of things to do you have lots of options in your life you have lots of uh things that you want to accomplish but i think you are not able to do that because you are confused that which one is the uh, important most important one for you by the end of this month fight drama conflict i'm sorry but i have this for you we will clarify don't worry maybe this is the end of drama maybe a new drama will start life is a drama life is a game life is a movie <laughs> and it has it ups and downs enjoy 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 Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles in the overall energies for you people. <coughs> See, I'm always sick, but I'm happy. It's fine. Oh, Ace of Pentacles is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles strength and judgment. Okay, I think now you are ready to forgive and forget. This is this took you a lot of courage. Finally you are going to show some kind of courage to yourself to the universe that finally you are ready to forgive and forget and finally you are ready to have this brand new opening brand new chapters brand new opportunities uh, come in your life so finally you are welcoming a brand new chapter of your life by forgiving and forgetting whatever happened and forgiving a lot of people even if you are not getting the closure or proper closure out of a situation you are just forgiving it and finally you are trying your best to start a new chapter in your life it could be related to your money job career career finally letting go of a job or situation that was not good for you even if it was good it was not working out you felt like okay i have to let it go and in some cases it was a relationship that you were in and things were not working out i'm so sorry just give me a second yeah things were not working out what is happening oh sorry yeah so you are ready to forgive and move on towards a new chapter it, that is going to be your focus area trying to forgive trying to fight uh, with your inner demons inner fears and finally opening up to new people new situation hmm. in the recent past the hierophant is telling me either you met a mentor or guru or you got some kind of spiritual insight or you got yourself into some kind of spirituality tarot card reading you started some kind of healing modality let's clarify the hierophant but you felt like you should be one with the divine you you felt like you definitely felt like you should do something in the spiritual as a spiritual person as a, to start your journey in spirituality or to enhance yourself the sun the king of swords the nine of swords yes see you got some kind of awakening you got some kind of truth or clarity because of some kind of spiritual person around you a, men, a mentor or guru or some kind of reader might might be like me i don't know you gain some kind of truth or clarity and you cut a lot of stress out of your life you try to cut a lot of stress out of your life because of that a uh, spiritual quest of yours or guru or mentor whatever you call it 
you were fighting for something from a very long time now finally you are gaining the truth and clarity about the situation and you felt like okay letting it go is the uh, only solution and i think finally you are letting something go out of your life and you are doing it so beautifully that you are liking it now capricorn you have learned the lessons even if you haven't i think you are going to be uh, soon free from this kind of issues of fighting for something that is not meant for you okay now in the current energy seven of cups you have lots of things to do you have lots of options in your life you have it could be possible that you have feelings or emotions for more than one people or one situation at the same time and that is confusing the hell out of you let's clarify the seven of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy of swords seven of wands and the temperance card yeah you are trying to be you are trying to stay take a stand for yourself you are trying to come out of this crossroads situation i think it's related to your love life it's related to your emotion or something that you are emotionally very attached with you are in the crossroads regarding a particular situation in your life and you are trying your best to take a stand for yourself take a stand for this situation to come out of this confusing state of mind and you are trying to be as patient with yourself as you can as lower uh, as much in this energy of i have to lower down my temper i don't have to overreact i don't have to overdo i don't have to overstress so you are trying your best to come out of a confusing state of mind and be patient with yourself and taking a stand for yourself you are trying your best to do that <coughs> by the end of this month there will be fight there will be competition there will be a conflict that you are going to face I think don't be a part of drama just uh, try to maintain your peace and calm that you gained in the recent past or that you are gaining right now also with spiritual with the help of spirituality or spiritual people around you don't lose that energy it's precious the universe is going to test you again and again now how you are going to react that is going to define whether you pass the test or not let's clarify the five of wands by the end of march 2023 four of pentacles 10 of pentacles and six of pentacles okay okay that's good okay even though you are going to move towards stability lots of abundance lots of uh, equal give and take of energy is coming especially in terms of your job career money you will be holding on to some kind of conflict from within yourself you you have to let go of this conflict that you are uh, not able to release obviously it's a very very slow process to release something or someone out of our life so maybe i'm going to give you a lecture you have to release you have to let go you have to you have to get over this person i know it's very tough but by the end of march 2023 you will be definitely holding on to some kind of conflict drama or uh, fight and i think you are not going to verbally fight with anybody or create any kind of drama in anybody's life or you are going to be a part of drama but this is your inner chatter this is your inner conflict that's not going to let you live until unless you are going to release it so you will be holding on to something you feel like this this situation even if it is conflict even if it is drama this situation has the potential to become something huge to become something very stable in the future so you will be holding on to something that i think is not good or good enough or it's not going to be the up, it's not going to be up to the mark that you are making it for okay you are trying to balance something that is not balanced and you are very sure that there is the potential in this situation to become balanced that is going to cause the conflict now again it could be a love relationship situation or it could be your work or money related issue and you will be holding on to lots of things lots of uh, conflict within yourself but if you are not going to release this energy this uh, channel this energy of conflict and drama within yourself you might end up erupting like erupting like a volcano some day and that's going to make you feel regretful so try to channelize this energy try to walk like talk things out try to communicate well try to be honest with yourself and other people in the situation and try to see things the way they are instead of trying to make your own vision that yes it's going to be like this or that's that that is going to be like this i have to hold a little more a little more like this don't do that Let's see what is the guidance for you capis. Oh, 
फोर ऑफ कप्स सिक्स ऑफ वॉन्ट्स फाइव ऑफ स्वर्ड्स दिस इज द सेम थिंग दैट आई टोल्ड यू यू हैव टू लेट गो ऑफ दिस कन्फ्यूज स्टेट ऑफ माइंड यू हैव टू लेट गो ऑफ दिस सिचुएशन ऑफ इधर दिस और नथिंग ओके एल्स यू विल नेवर बी एबल टू बी सक्सेसफुल इन योर लाइफ स्पेशली इमोशनली यू हैव टू लेट गो ऑफ दिस फेक ईगो इधर आई विन और दिस इज इट आई एम गोइंग टू स्पॉइल एवरी थिंग और स्पॉइल एवरी वन और हर्ट एवरी वन अराउंड मी नॉट स्पॉइल एवरी वन एक्चुअली हर्ट एवरी वन अराउंड मी बिकॉज दिस इज माई ईगो दैट वॉन्ट्स टू विन एट एनी कॉस्ट इफ माई ईगो इज नॉट गोइंग टू विन इफ आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू विन आई एम गोइंग टू रूइन एवरी थिंग फॉर माई सेल्फ फॉर द अदर पर्सन बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू विन एट एनी कॉस्ट and but if you are going to do this stupidity you are going to regret it forever in your life now i don't know what you are going to do or what you are planning to do but if you are planning to do something to ruin something to ruin someone's life because your ego is not accepting that this is something that is gone or that this is something that is not good for you or this is something that is not meant for you you are going to ruin it for yourself for nobody else right i hope you're getting my message cap is it's a very deep spiritual message that i'm giving you you are on the right track when you are coming to spirituality gaining some kind of truth and insight somebody is trying to help you you are in on the right track don't spoil it don't ruin it thank you so much for tuning in cap is i hope you got the lesson i hope you get I, i'm so sorry not the lesson i hope you are getting the clarity or the insight that you're looking for god bless you namaste